Hi guys, I'm Miguel Sanchez. Welcome to Moshi Monsters Biography, and guess what? Episode 1 of our 3 part, or our 3 episode Moshi School series is finally out now. Yes, that's right, it's finally here, ladies and gentlemen. The main subtext here, A to Z and history. So, hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to go check it out, I'll put a link up there on the top recording screen so you can go check it out and video and watch it for yourself. Tomorrow's episode will be Moshi on G, so stay tuned for that. And then we'll close it out on Tuesday with. Math Moshix, so don't miss it, my friends. <laughs> it's gonna be a whole lot of fun, so stay tuned. All right, guys, but, but enough talk for me. Back to the video. We can, we're continuing the clock category today, as this time it's all about the main headquarters of clock. So get ready, guys. You ready for it? And here we go. Welcome to episode 510. Today is about the Scare Force One. Whew, oh boy, this is definitely not good, my friends, but we got to it today, my friends. This is the blend that travels all across Monstro City, so be prepared for it, guys. For those who have seen episode 5 and 9, we took a look at another... So we took a look at Rocco, who is the grayish glump I've never seen before. Uh, so yeah, watch it out. The link is on the top recorder screen, so go check it out right now. Otherwise, sit by and relax and enjoy the show. Are you ready? Now let's begin. So what is the Scare Force 1? The Scare Force 1 is, an, is the airship slash blimp owned by Clock. It's a put on the American airplane Air Force 1. The thing accompanying the blimp in missions is Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries. A replica thereof can be found at Sumeroshi March. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Moving on. Character stats here. Name is Care Force 1. Occupation is Club Blimp. See, they in season 1, mission 3. Strange Club from Bluff. And that's it. I'm supposed to say vehicle stats, but character stats works fine. So, yeah, that's it. Go on to the description. Scare Force 1 sure is one big airship. It is the, also the mobile HQ of the Criminal League of Naughty Critters. Armed with deadly goo cannons. It is a terrifying sight to be, uh, behold. It also comes with handy escape pod with a handy escape pod dock, just in case though, just in case things don't go according to plan for Dr. Strange Love and his impish allies. I know in the fiction it's gonna be a long one. So get ready, guys. Here we go. Although, oh my clock! In fiction, we have only seen it being used by Dr. Strange Glove and the Gloves under Strange Glove's command. That's where episode, uh, that's where Dr. Strange Love is at episode one hundred six. So watch it right now. I have seen. Yeah. Also. Yeah. Also. Um. And also, Clock was focused on episode 596, and episode 496, so you want to go check that out as well, definitely go do so. Yes, episode 496 is where Clock is, the entire Clock, so go watch that after this one. It's worth it. It made its debut in Season 1, Mission 3, Strange Love from Above, where it waited for Dr. Strange Love's escape pod, whom have failed to his minion to abduct his mission to abduct and glump the fishies. Oh boy. I already did. Season 1, Mission 3, Stranger Lord Above. Over on my second channel, because this is extra, so we're going to check it out. I'll put a link down below in the description for my second channel. Go subscribe there right now Have to, after you're done watching this video. Afterwards, Clonk attempted to capture the Fluffies. Super Moshi was captured along with Whirly when, uh, when they attempted to attack the blip. Looking through the window of a door, the Dr. Strange Club was having a conversation with the entirety of clock via telecom. Uh, specifically, Speed 2, who made their debut. Oh boy. Uh, Super Moshi was on episode 410, Worldly, episode 479, and Sweet Tooth, episode 415. Please go check them out immediately after you're done with this one. Squiff spotted Super Moshi and put on the, the alarm, but forgot how the door worked. Leaving Super Moshi free to escape. Uh, and, and guess what? Squiff is going to be on the next episode. Yes, that's right, guys. On the next episode, so you need to stay tuned. Oh, boy. This is going to be a lot of fun. Moving on. In these events, Plinky was found, who was used as an air pump oh, to make the ship function properly and staying afloat. By rescuing Plinky, the entire ship crashed with the strange gloves and his clumps trapped inside. Oh, boy. Plinky Huff, the squeezy tickle huff from the Toonie set. I already talked about it before. Plinky was discussed on episode 305, so watch that after you're done with this one. Good job. It's made for, it made its return at the end of season 1, mission 10. Super Warby Showdown, where it provided as an escape vehicle for Clock in the events of the fiery castle collapsing. The blimp floated straight to Music Island, where it dropped Sprocket, Hubs, and Dr. Strange Club above the Gombala Gombala Jungle. As they were kicked out of clock. Ugh. Ugh. Why did we have to do this already? Why did we have to do this already? But yes, go. But yeah, I know. 
if you're looking for Sprocket Hub and such, and such Strange Club, they came to the right place. Now, the Strange Club was an episode three. Uh, was an episode 106. Hubs was, was an episode 106. Hubs was an episode 186. And Sprocket was on episode 393. So, if you haven't seen any of these episodes yet, please go watch right now. Elder Furry, a captive, managed to escape his prison and took and took the same exit. Ugh. Yeah, the same exact exit as before. So, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, go check out Elder Furry. He was he was on the show before. He was discussed on episode 113. So watch this after you're done with this one. I know. In Moshi Movie Mystery, where Dr. Strange Club steals the movie's film role, he was celebrating his successful theft somewhere outside of the ship. In stormy weather, resulting in him being struck by a bolt of lightning and dropping the film roll in. Again, the Kabbala Kabbala jungle. In concept art, it was Father Twistmas who who bumped the blip and resulted in Strange Glove losing balance and his grasp on the roll. Ugh, great. Father Twistmas, huh? You never see him again, don't you? Uh, go check him out right now. He was on episode 119. Yeah, again, episode 119, that's where Final Twist is, so watch that after you're done with this one. It appears if both the Doctor will see an this video as Boshi Twistmas floating above Marshall City. A miniature replica of the ship is all, uh, is available at the Super Boshi Birch store. Woo! That was a lot! Uh, you wanna go check out the Super Boshi Birch? He, we have the shopkeeper for that. That was discussed on episode 411, so watch that after you're done with this one. Moving on to the functions. It is equipped with several weapons such as lasers and cannons, according to Katsuma Unleashed. It appears to have some sort of power core between the helium valve, the balloon, and the gondola, the wagon underneath. The wagon underneath. Whenever the blip's crashing, as shown in both its debut mission, Strange Glove from above, and the movie The Great Washing Gag, it emits green goo, which supposedly is the fuel from the cannons as described in the ship's artillery, the, the artillery description. Yeah, uh, Katsuma Unleashed. Go check out Katsuma, episode 207, after you're done with this one. Finally, for the gallery, we have a picture of the like, Scare Force 1. I don't know where it is, but yeah, the Super Boshis need you! But but I don't need him right now, because that's the end of the Scare Force 1, so find out something for this airship. It could do anything. It's got all, it's got everything a villain could do, so yes, yes, and yes, Scare Force 1, come on! You are the best. I love you so much. Can't wait to call it more and tour the Scare Force 1 someday. But therefore, as you once said, I'm rating the Scare Force 1 with a score of 9 out of 10. Awesome! An awesome airship! Unbelievable. Can't wait to dive right in and explore what the Scare Force 1 has to offer. Can't wait to join Clark very, very soon. But yeah, that's a little my personal conservative opinion. You can feel free to agree or disagree in the comment section down below. Otherwise, guys, we're done. Thank you all for watching another episode of Motion Monster Variety. Our, our journey across Scare Force 1 has come to an end, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> well, anyway, friends, but anyway, we'll see you. Tomorrow with another side episode of the series. And don't forget, we do have the Moshi Mashup League tomorrow. And it's live with the Elite Eight as the Season 1 playoffs continue. So don't miss it, guys. Also, tomorrow we have uh, episode 2 of our Moshi School series, which is Moshiology. So don't miss it out as well. And, and on Tuesday, we wrap it all up with Math Moshiks. So be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, guys, thank you for watching. Up here, I'll be on session. You yourself. See you tomorrow on Moshi Monsters Biography. Well, another, well, we, we have one final club to take a look at tomorrow. Episode 511 is about Squiff. That's right. Squiff is our final club to take a look at. So get ready, guys. It comes down to this. We st in alphabetical order, we began with, with Blackjack, episode 493. Bloopy, episode 494. Bruiser, episode 495. Fabio, episode 497. And then we did Fish Lips. We already talked about episode 126. That's okay. We did Freak Face, episode 498. So that's something. We did Pistachio, episode 503, Ned, episode 504, Pirate Pog, episode 505, and Podge, ep ep Podge, episode 506, and most recently, Rocco, episode 509. Now, episode 511 will be the final glump in on the show, Squiff. So stay tuned, guys. Don't miss it. We'll see you there. For now, thanks for watching. Please remember to leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to have this new video. Please subscribe. With notifications, you're on to have this new video from me. Also, we're on the road to 1,200 subscribers. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you all tomorrow with more great content. You have a great day, and I'll speak to you guys again next time right here on, on the show. I, I love you, and I can't wait to talk to you again next time. I promise. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you real soon with more great content. 
Like, favorite, subscribe for our Moshi Monsters for Eggby and the World of Moshi. I'm Big Sanchez, and I'll see you in another video. Laters!